What's up ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. Today we're playing Cool Painter VR, it's for PlayStation 4. And I've taken this wonderful painting by an artist I'll show you on DeviantArt in the comments, and I've done my own rendition on top. And I thought this was an amazingly fun way to paint, where you just paint over top of some of your favorite art, but you can add depth, right? And so... You can see the depth that it kind of brings. And I really like this Black Mage from Final Fantasy. What we're going to do is start from scratch, and I'm going to paint it with you today. So let's reset everything here. And let's import the Black Mage. Okay. We're going to use the liquid brush. It's a little challenging, but I like it. And then let's start with this kind of beige grayish he has for the hat and we'll kind of start far out up here because we want the hat to be over top of his body so his hat and his clothes you can see it's kind of 3d it's gonna be over top of his body here so let's do this over these two sections here and also you can do stippling with this brush too but we're just gonna do the strokes here We'll go here for the same color. We're going to add some black there in a minute. Okay. And let's add a little bit darker there. Add it right behind it. Intersperse it there. Okay, that's good. Cool. And let's get a kind of brighter beige here. They've got, notice, like a pink there. Do you see that? It's crazy pink. Let's add some oranges. All right, they got a few there. We'll hide it behind the gray. Okay. Let's see if we can find this kind of weirdish pink color they got going down there. Almost like up here, but it's orange. I think if we add kind of this orange here, let's, uh, let's make it a little washed out. And then we add some red on top. You might be able to emulate it some. But for now, we'll just do some orange and beige tones. Not a lot down here, okay. And... Get some darker brown. These big strokes. I'm gonna hold. If you hold on the trigger, it makes a thicker brush. We're gonna do some thickness here to get this darkness. So it's interesting that the black mage here has such a colorful, colorful array of colors of hat with all the brightness. Notice most of the brightness is behind him. The darkness and the shadows are in the front. Except for this part of the hat, it leads the way. It's all about the darkness being centered within him. I know this is me reading a lot into the original artist's rendition, but I like what they did here. I like the, the things that it implies a lot. Traditionally, when you see a black mage, he's not a dark mage, right? He's, he's black in that he follows the preparedness of powerful magic, right? Everyone's afraid of the Black Mage because they know at the beginning of a battle, if he drops a Fire 3, it's over, right? It's over. But he's not a... He's not a dark mage, right? He studies the, the dark arts, but he himself is positive and works hard. I always liked how the Black Mages did that. They, they were devoted to the hard study of using that ultimate power. They were willing to forego being weak because they knew that if they worked hard enough, they would get very powerful magics. Now this is a very dark gray here. You notice this? So we're gonna overlay a lot of some, a lot of whites here. Let's see if we can, this brush is gonna automatically make it gray. There's not much I can do about it. That's okay. That's okay. If we intersperse it, I think it'll be fine. There we go. Okay, now let's do a thick one all the way to give ourselves some guidance here. 
And then we'll do a black over top of that. On the brim of his hat, give ourselves a nice guideline here. Okay. Start a nice thick one to lead off the bottom. All right, I like that. And then we'll fill in some shadows here of his hat, top and bottom. Okay. Cool. And let's go ahead and put the guides there for his bandana. This is good. The actual bands there. Give ourselves a little outline there. Bring it out a bit more. There we go. We'll get ourselves a... Hmm, we need a dark purple here. My mom likes purple. Let's get a washed out purple. The black mage isn't supposed to be loud. He's supposed to be kind of subtle, right? It's all about the, the subtlety before the, the meteor completely decimates your p party, right? So we're going to go with a more subtle purple. We're going to stay on the left side of the palette here. Washed out purples. We just need a bit darker there. All right, so we're going to start. Let's start with a dark one on the left here. And we'll work our way to a brighter purple on the right. These are almost black. We'll slowly increase our way up right as we go further right here. And just kind of blend it in. And then once we get here, we can go kind of a washed out purple, right? Because he's got the, the white mage behind him. <laughs> Even though he faces darkness, light is on his side. Goodness is on his side. He's a good person despite his desire to use dark arts to fight badness. All right, that's great. Let's use gray and kind of do this, this crazy, crazy neck he's got going down here. This collar is gigantic, right? Okay, and then let's get black to do some guidance on the bottom there. Yeah, nice and thick. Okay, now the embroidery is tricky, so let's do a little washed out bright color. The original artist used kind of a, a grayish. I want to use a really bright pink. It's hard to do it small here. You have to give the controller for the PS4 time to catch up. So we're going to give it time to catch up here. Because I really want this, these intricate curves that illustrate there's more to the, the Black Mage than just Fire 3. He's a very intricate, intricate character with a lot of things going on. Why did he choose to do dark magic instead of light magic? Why did he not decide to heal? Why did he want to help his party by destroying destruction magic? These are what we want to know, and this lets him know that he has class as well. He's not just a brutish mage. All right, let's get some darkness to do the belts. We'll, we'll do the black first, and then we'll put the, the actual... belt slots over top of this black belt. He has a belt on his neck. Who has a belt on their neck? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, and we'll go over this here. Go up and sideways to accentuate it. So go up and down and then side to side. So it's a, it pops a little bit more. Let's just know there's some distractions there. Okay, so we're going to start with some kind of three purples. We're going to do a really dark purple that's faded on the left here. And we're going to slowly fade to the right. So I'm going to try to stay behind the embroidery here. And we'll go down here. Do it as well. Nice and thick. Yeah, I'll really hold the PS4 controller at this point. Okay. That's good. Brighter. Ooh, a little too bright, Jesse. There we go. This is good. Nice and purple. 
a really thick cloak to protect him from burning himself or icing himself or electro electrocuting himself, I guess. I'm not really sure what this is made out of, but whatever it is, it's special. It's a sign of his order or her order. All right, this one's kind of like a blue. You notice that? It's not just a purple. It's kind of like a blue. We add a little bit of blue. Why not? We can finish with a lighter blue. Let's get this going. Blend this in here. Go to a brighter, brighter color. And then I'll kind of see how close we can we get to blue without making it super blue. Yeah, that could work. That could work. Okay. We can do that. It's dark. Let's make it a little bit lighter. Okay. This is good. Yet yeah, we don't bother the embroidery. And just a little touch up on the hat here. Let's get, get that brown again. I don't know where that brown went, but we're going to try this brown, this peachy brown here. I like that. All right, last but not least, we're going to do his eye. And I'm, this is my first time using this program. So I've practiced a little bit playing with my girls tonight. But the eye never really works out well because it's kind of like a glowing orb. And I haven't learned all the brushes. So for now, we're just going to do a circle, a very white here. And then we're going to add touches of the yellow, touches of the yellow the power that glows outside, right? Add some grays back. There we go. Make that a little more subtle. There we go. And that is our black mage. Just one last thing to add. And that is the chain here. We'll add this nice little chain. Got to be very delicate to get the brush to... You just got to be patient for the chain links to work. And then we'll do a thick brush, right? Right down. There we go. And there you go. Voila, that's, there you have it. There is the Black Mage. <laughs> it looks more like a Darkwing Duck rendition, but I like it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Cool Paint VR. I should have an art degree, in it, but it doesn't really show up in this painting, and that's okay. It's all about creating. A lot of times you're just creating for yourself. It's very therapeutic. It feels good to make something for you to enjoy it. It's not necessarily for everybody else to enjoy it. I hope that was as relaxing as it was for you, as it was for me. And I highly encourage you to check out Cool Paint VR. It's on PS4 VR.